Alrighty guys, so I have been waiting for this package to come. I have wanted this figure for a long time. This is, as you've probably read the title by now, the Page Elite 34 action figure. And uh, I might review my defining, or not my defining, my WrestleMania Heritage Elite Undertaker 2 since I lost the original review to that one. Which it won't have a box, but whatever. I'll review that later. Moving on, I'm, I'm going on a tangent, but shoot. So, as you can tell, I'm still in, I'm boxing it fresh from its package. Now it's... Yeah, I just think it be like popcorn stuff. Alright, I have been waiting on this figure forever and a day. Look at this beautiful figure right here. That's her face right there. These are her two titles. Let's move on to the back. You got the statistics right here. You got a full body drawing of her. Uh, full body drawing of her. The statistics right here. NXT Divas Women's Champion. First ever to be both at the same time. From Norwich, England. The Page Turner. The Rampage as well. I believe that's the DDT and the that neck breaker finisher I don't know anyway that's her height and all that stuff the rest of the figures that come in this series Elite 34 moving on let's unbox this figure ah Christ huh, I remember when I was a kid I used to be crazy with the boxes care about them. I'm so careful with it. It's a little more tedious. And I just mauled the box. Alright. Alright, so moving on. We got the box. Not really a shot I want you to see. But whatever. Okay, sweet. So let's go on to the accessories first. First, we got the Divas title right here. Oh, there you go. The Divas title right here. Uh, the belt nobody wants. <laughs> you got the NXT Women's title right here, which is such an awesome belt. Can't wait to use that for our MGW. Now, let's move on to the Paige action figure herself. Now, look at that. That is her face right there. Man, I remember when she used to be the anti-diva instead of the total diva. Oh, Paige, what did they do to you? Anyway, she's got a whole, um, I'll call that um, a core swivel. She carries 360 rotation in her arms, shoulders, and her wrists. As you can see, she carries 360 rotation in the head, which is hindered by the hair mold. 360 rotation in the thighs and in the ankle. She carries socket joints in the elbows, the knees, as well as the ankles. Uh, moving on to her attire. So, a really nice paint job on the top right there. She carries those those uh, studs, the diamond studded with the pink top and then um, on the back as well and which is cool because it wasn't just cheaply painted which in my opinion makes this figure a lot more worth the get. Over here on the waist you got the belt also molded, sculpted, whatever you want to call it. Look at that, even the side right there which they could have just cheaply painted but I appreciate Mattel's hard work on that one. 
the ridges of her socks as everybody every review I've read seems to go into detail about and the boots finally mm. overall a 10 out of 10 for this figure I definitely recommend you get this figure um, there's really no complaints on my department so yeah it's a perfect figure comes with perfectly fitting accessories so if you ever find a figure for a good deal which you probably won't because people like to rip off online just get this figure yeah